Yeah, hey, what's going on, world? I hope everything is going successful for y'all today, right? Bam! Look at this. Good! Look at this. This is black rice, baby. The forbidden rice, right? Some y'all may not never seen some of this. Don't y'all worry about that. Got some for y'all. Anyway, here we go. Look at this. Yeah, it's good for you, right? Got some for your sweet and sour chicken. So, so right, there are levels when it comes to the health, right? So we don't, it's best if you don't do stuff uh, overnight, right? Because what happens is we've been doing stuff 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, sometimes 60 damn years and changing it overnight, right? You're going to have a bad relapse. You seen, I know you've seen New Jack City or you might have a cousin, an uncle, friend, some damn body, right? They might have been addicted to crack or dope or meth or pills, alcohol, etc. Right? And when they got off of it, right, they became sick. Their body was withdrawing. This is the process when it comes to becoming great. You have like little withdrawals, right? But then if they get on the dope and crack and the meth and the alcohol again, right, they start to feel better, right? Does that mean this stuff is good for them? No, their body just used to it. So what we want you to do, right, is do it slowly but surely, and then you will build up, right, great habits. Because you didn't been, somebody, look here. Most people ain't gain. 20, 30, 40 damn pounds or whatever, right? Just overnight, you know what I'm saying? A couple of weeks, it took them a long bit. So we want to bring in the health the same type of weight and then you don't feel better. Especially if you come over here to plant-based breakfast, you know what I'm saying? And that's just mean at least 51% of what you consume is unprocessed, right? Whole plants. So going back to forbidden rice, right? Rice in general got a bad name and, you know, it's really just carbohydrates. It's so bad. Stay away from that. Just listen here. Right? When it's unprocessed, it's good. And if you look at right, a lot of the, the Africans, right, or like the Asians, especially the, the Asian population, right, mostly what they be consuming be rice, right? And a lot of them, they don't be that big unless like they was like trained, start consuming like the American killer ass diet, the sad stuff. But anyway, um. So, with this good old forbidden right, it's good for the system, right? It's called forbidding because the people that was like the higher up people, they didn't want the masses of people, right, to have the good stuff. Even but now, the masses of good stuff is like right there. You know, you can see it like when all this little pandemic, pandemics type of stuff that was going on. People was running past the damn, all the damn the vitamins and the produce was running to the toilet paper and the meats and stuff like that. But anyway, so what you want to do is, right, you want to consume this. Is it? This is going to be up in your wild rice, or you can consume this, right? This has a nice little flavor to it, right? So brown rice and white rice are exactly the same. The only difference is, right, white rice is the brown rice with the outside coating removed. Then, right, they put artificial nutrients back on top on, on the white rice, right? You just consume. Anyway, so the more color something has, right, the better that's going to be for you, right? Like I was saying with the anti -science. So this is what gives it the black color. Also, you're going to find that, right, in them good old eggplants, blueberries, blackberries, right? It's like the purplish or bluish type of colors. That's going to be good for your circulation system, super good for your digestive system, your nervous system. If you're trying to balance out your blood sugars, your blood pressure, get your cholesterol down, right? How your system running more properly. Come to plant-based records, baby. Anyway, this good. Black rice. Forbidden rice. Look at it. I ain't stopped.